Breaking news. Abba Kiari, more saw deeds of his loyalists. Hello, my wonderful people. Some very things that stings are beginning to come out of Abba Kiari and his men's activity. In fact, when you hear them, you will, you will cringe. That's how wicked human beings are. That's how much of our heart, how bad, okay, the state of the heart of a man is, okay? One of his men particularly stabbed seven men to death. Seven. These are people's sons. Some of them have wife. Some of them have are the only child. Some of them, the parents give birth to them at old age. Whatever their crime is, there is a system in the land that says they should go through that system and understand, you know, the, the crux of what they have done. And on that premise, the court will give a verdict. And we know in Nigeria, for instance, we don't do the death penalty and all that. So such a person could have been able to have a bit of lease of ease. Okay, go and cool off in the cell since you cannot live among men peacefully. However, these guys took laws into their hands. For instance, the most terrible one is that they stabbed seven men to death. So most saw deeds of what him and his men did are coming alive. And my dear, your ear will cringe. It will really cringe, you know. And, um, you know, this was what happened to SARS, that unit. When they went on carrying wicked activities all around the place and, you know, we can see the resultant effect, how it blew out of proportion. This one, now this is God exposing it. This is not a Nigerian youth saying we don't want SARS or we want SARS. Let's get all the details. Breaking news, Abba Kiari, more sad deeds of his loyalists coming to light. When the 18th Indigenous Inspector General of Police, Mr. Solomon Aruso, created the Intelligence Response Team, IRT, in 2015, as one of his innovative initi initiatives, it was aimed solely to combat violent crimes, especially kidnapping, which has become a sore displeasure and an assault to their office for which they wanted to curb. It was not difficult for Aruso, who fondly, who formerly headed one of the top most intelligent gathering units of the of the Nigerian police force, the Criminal Intelligence and Investigation and Investigation Bureau, to choose DSP Abakiari, who was then a superintendent of the police and commander of now disbanded Special Anti Robbery Squad (SARS), Lagos State, to head the IRT known then as the IGPIRT. His choice of Kiari, among other Glenian valiant policemen across the police command in Nigeria, was because of his sterling achievement as the SARS commander in Lagos. Indeed, Kiari and his team hit the ground running by cracking high-profile cases with bevailing rapid rapidness through the use of cutting-edge technology in the IGP IRT, highly complex crimes of the nation's security importance, ranging from kidnapping, robbery, bomb, we are cracked with suspects arrested and prosecuted, and recovery of loot was done. For the first time in many years, Nigeria, Nigerians, both home and abroad, as well as the international community, applauded the efforts of the IRT with special recognition on Abba Kiari, who was, seen, who was seen as the pride of the police. It got to an extent that most people who were not conversant with the hierarchy in the police force assumed he was the police boss, as it became more visible than the IGP, successful, successive police public relations officer in the media space. Kiari enjoyed rapid promotion in recognition of his achievement, described as unprecedented in the history of Nigerian police. But as time progresses, there were complaints about the excesses of Kiari and his men at the IRT units before the disbandment of SARS. Some of the atrocities attributed to SARS were actually predicated by operative of the IRT. Among these complaints were human rights abuse an act of brutality in their bid to extract the truth from the suspect. They were also accused of 
conniving with suspect properties taken as well as withdrawing suspect money from their account during interrogation but only tendered a tent or nothing or amount so little you cannot begin to imagine some of the suspects were even kidnapped by them their drug borrow and robberies who either died from bullet wounds or were serving jail terms in correction centers although there were rapid complaints of the effort they never seen the light of day as nobody took care to understand what was going on owning to carry's popularity popularity his ability to cover many matters continued response in the boss responding to the boss he saw as the messiah of nigerian police and nobody paid attention to the complaints and investigations by saturday vanguard revealed that operatives who worked with kiari during his days as sent as the irt command were selected by him or his loyalist he selected his men can you see where things are coming from so they did not just post anybody there no you have to be lawyer and take the oath Hmm. Policemen, we are not just deployed to that unit. If he does not give an approval, you don't come there. And when you come there, you must obey what he says. A good percentage of the IRT operatives under him own gigantic buildings in their respective hometowns and part and choice parts of the country. They were divert their own divert exotic cars. Sources says they were able to get this property because of the unlimited freedom they enjoy from their former boss, DSP Kiari, to operate beyond their boundaries. Even when complaints about their work continues to get to Kiari, they looked away and pretended that these things were not there. So, I mean, that's that's the issue right now. That's the main issue right now, you know. So we, 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 we will see how things goes and progresses because these people, um, you know, what's going on, you know, we, we can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. So we must understand where we are going. These people took laws into their hands, you know. They took laws into their hands and nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. Okay, nobody said anything. Complaints were coming. One of the men stabbed seven men, young men to death. They were ex they were extorting from you know extorting from people, and nobody you know paid attention. They were extorting from people. Nobody paid attention. And today, look at what is happening. You know, even when when man refused to look, God will just expose it himself. It's not just the it's not just the the U.S. own. This one he did is here in Nigerian soil. God have mercy on us. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.